Did you see that? A ghost. Welcome to Paranormal Pentivity, a show about songwriting, ghostwriting, and everything in between. My name is Naomi Mills. I am your host, and today I want to talk about blackballing in the music industry and how a person actually does get blackballed. And it's not what you immediately think. So when you think about blackballing, what is something that comes to your mind? You think that oh, they don't want this person to be successful, so everybody cut them off. They don't want this person to do X, Y, Z, and everybody cut them off. This person gained too much success, or they did something that was just so terrible that everybody just cut them off, and they don't have access, or they're not helping them push them and get to wherever they're trying to go. All of those things can absolutely be true, but I want to tell you how a person gets to that. You know, a very common way that people get to being blackball is not following directions. I know that sounds very crazy and very like, what are you talking about, Naeem? Not following directions is a very, very fast and very simple way to get yourself blackballed. An example of not following directions is if a person has a sign or is somewhere posted that says, by appointment only. If you violate the by appointment only and you just show up and you try to talk to them or you just try to call them or you just try to just work your way around and get around a person and avoid the the boundary and the barrier that was set place that is not following directions and what that does is that tells that person that you're trying to talk to and it tells that person you're trying to do business with that you are incapable of following directions i.e I can't be bothered with you because you're not a good listener and you're not going to listen. Therefore, I don't want to be bothered with you. So if you're trying to get to me and I say by appointment only, but you violate that and you try to just walk in and converse with me or talk to me or do something with me that we have not, like that you violated the boundary to try to get to, I can go and tell other people this person doesn't follow directions. This person does not listen. This person does not have the mental capability of respecting the system that was put into place very common way if we're talking about relating it to music it could be that but it could also be hey i have very specific directions that i want to be followed for this project but you send me something where you just went totally with your own things you can't follow directions therefore i can just put out in the atmosphere everybody that fuck with me hey this person is just totally fucking incapable of following directions. They're totally fucking incapable of doing just one simple step to try to get them to where they want to. It ain't no purpose in listening. And who you think they're gonna they're gonna give you a fucking chance because you think you're so fucking great and you think you're so fucking grand that you don't have to follow the directions? No. So you end up getting yourself blackballed in that type of situation. Another thing, very common that gets people blackball is them talking too much and running their fucking mouth. Like I said on my main channel, the music industry works like this. The music industry is a pyramid where every, the commoners are at the bottom and the people that are at control, and it's, it's all different type of systems, but all systems are a pyramid. And everybody else is up at the top doing whatever the fuck they do. So if you run in your fucking mouth, and you're doing a bunch of shit, and it's just not safe to attach myself to you because I don't know what you're going to do and what you're going to say or what your fucking attitude is going to be. And I just, I'll throw attitude in there, but like running your fucking mouth and your attitude really can get you fucked over without you even having to be there, without having to know. Posting bullshit on the internet and laughing at shit and thinking that shit is a game and thinking that shit is funny and participating in shit that you don't have no business participating in, that gets you blackballed too. And I'm putting all of these in the same pot because a lot of times we're interacting with each other on the internet. Niggas ain't pulling up and saying nothing to nobody in person, but people will see what you do online and automatically reject that and somebody else will see it and they'll be like, oh no, that's not safe for business. That's not safe for what we do that doesn't represent what we do and it could just you be just be you online joking and online playing and online doing shit that don't have nothing to do with anything that you know got to do with what you actually stand for but because somebody with some power and because somebody with some whatever decided that 
oh yeah, I don't fuck with that. They can go off and they can tell other people. This is a very word of mouth industry. This is a very much, you know, everybody know who, who the predators are because people will talk amongst themselves. And that's another thing, predatory practices and just all these type of things. And the way that you do business gets you blackballed as well. Because a lot of times the way that if you're unreliable and you're un, you know, prepared and disorganized and all of these type of things, people will not want to be bothered with you, especially when it is that disorganization is powerful. Because if you're disorganized, people think they're going to lose money. People think that you're going to steal. People going to think that you'll do anything to try to, you know, get back to wherever you was before that. And people ain't trying to deal with that. These are, so th these are very common ways that people get blackballed. But I don't know. I don't want to put it in order because they all really mean something. But like not following directions, running your mouth, interacting with things you don't have no business interacting with, casting judgments, your fucking attitude, attitude being really like, I will put attitude number one. Attitude is like probably the number one reason why people get blackballed because nobody trying to deal with that bullshit because you're, the more you progress, the naturally, naturally your mind starts to change the more you progress. And maybe we'll do a part two one day, but those are the most common ways that people get blackballed. Not O U X Y Z, but it's just like think about all the times people have been blackballed. It was either they have not followed the directions, they have a bad fucking attitude or a type of attitude nobody's trying to deal with, punctuality or um, lack of discipline, disorganization, those type of things. Goddamn running their mouth and speaking and they don't have no fucking business running their mouth and talking. Boost is a good example. Those are the type of things that get you blackballed. Everything, anytime somebody's been blackballed, it's been one of them becoming, you know, cause you, how can you blackball somebody who already has their own shit? You can't blackball a person who has their own shit going. You, these are people who are dependent on the system. That's, that's the, that's why I put it at the end and we'll wrap it up right there. Like, the people who get blackballed are the people who are dependent on the system. I don't depend on the system, so the system can't blackball me. You might be able to restrict access to that, but if I have my own shit, I can make my own shit. Something to think about. Did you see that?